Assalamualaikum. Welcome to World Geography with Muhammad Adna. Uh, today's tutorial is related to uh, how can we meet uh, standard precipitation ever uh, ever uh, transpiration index, uh, which is a normally known as a drop index. They consider both precipitation and evapotranspiration. <coughs> transpiration. So it's calculated with the help of Landsat 8 data. As you can see, this formula will be used in it, uh, where I am going to define P is represent the normal precipitation, PET is the potential evaporation, while alpha here alpha is the standard deviation of P minus uh, PET. It's mean precipitation minus potential evaporation transpiration evapor transpiration okay so first of all we need to put it the uh, land set temperature uh, and vegetation index which is normally in uh, normalized difference vegetation index uh, and then uh, estimating PAD then we apply this formula and when we get this uh, so we will be uh, divided by uh, H okay so let's let's be started uh, the formula of it so first of all uh, we need to make it so as you can see we uh, apply this formula uh, now we uh, go to the our RGS and from here uh, as you can see we uh, almost estimated this parameter which we need for our uh, this index and, and now we are going to uh, apply uh, estimating the climate data from Google Earth uh, I will share this file in the description so it will be easily open in the google earth and on the time wise you will be get uh, data from here as you can see the precipitation temperature and all the data but these data will be on the this grid wise so with the grid it will be variation in it so as you can see uh, it's a uh, uh, normally we just showing the uh, method how can we apply the formulas so that's why we have uh, uh, its value from 2022 uh, and we have a data of other that is a present of 2024 so that's why we just uh, use it for uh, completing the parameters and uh, uh, to make uh, its uh, formula complete so that's why uh, as you can see uh, we will be share its link here I have but uh, we will be share it in the description now I copy it and I will open the Excel and then I will pass it according to the latitude and longitude so these four grids will be coming in our area as you can see now I just simple copy it then I open the Excel I copy it and now I open uh, the Excel from here then I will pass it Here will be I have written the latitude and longitude uh, for it and pass it so here will be the precipitation uh, precipitation column and I will uh, pass it here, here the values uh, which I copy it and then I will uh, copy here uh, the latitude and longitude by the this pin arrow I will uh, 
move it to this grid and I will copy the latitude and then I will be copy the longitude for this area so same will be we uh, remind this process for other four grids which will uh, cover our area So as you see, uh, we completed and now we will save this excel file uh, to the folder this. Uh, we completed it uh, uh, to the drive uh, where we keep the folder for this parameter and uh, uh, then we will ca call out this uh, file to the excel uh, to perform and uh, to layout. Uh, to call out this point on our study area uh, then we make it the IDW maps uh, for further more um, work here we use the Excel to table tool and then we uh, display X and Y point in the RGS so it will take them um, simple uh, pass it here the values from the file where I am save it this one ok and simple ok it, it will be safe in the C drive uh, default function uh, ok so here it will uh, complete and now I will display x and y point x and y point display this latitude and longitude ok here will the latitude longitude come now will be called out and we will be saved and now I perform the IDW <coughs> IDW tool and this tool will be make the uh, vector to uh, raster data according to the point and it will be the precipitation here and we will set its environment processing here uh, then here Roster mass value H will be we give its uh, environment and we will be give its place and then simple ok it, it will be uh, proceed and we will get a IDW raster map uh, sorry raster uh, image for this area as you can see it's done so we will be keep it in the stretch form and then we will uh, going to apply the formula which we will be use in it
so here you can see we get this sublink but uh, we will apply this formula again with a separate uh, with the alpha with the de denominator and with a minus sign and with a p um, uh, et separate in the denominator then we will get our result and it will be work so this changes little bit you can uh, do it in this formula and it will be totally work uh, according to your uh, desired area so this will be the mountainous regions and here will be the evaporation and uh, precipita precipitation is more but evaporation is less so that's why uh, here is you can see uh, where the river and where the snow covered there will be the precipitation uh, evaporation uh, high values as compared to other part so it will be proceed then i am showing you as you can see it will done so its value will be range from plus one to minus one and the highest value will be showing a high precipitation and evapotranspiration area so i hope so uh, this tutorial help you so apply it on your area and also tell us in our uh, comment section uh, how do you like this tutorial and it's, uh, I hope so it will be helpful for you for your research work uh, thanks for watching uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe to our channel thank you so much